Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I'm currently in the Starbucks line right now, but as soon as I'm out of it, I'm about to head out to the new warehouse. I'll go ahead and show you guys everything and I'll go ahead and explain to you guys and pretty much just touch bases with everything that's been going on. Sir, I'll anything to eat. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, Can I get a uh, venti ice white mocha, please? Venti ice white mocha? Yes, and then if you can make it with uh, soy milk. Yeah. Perfect. Do you want to keep the lift? Uh, yes, please. Okay. And then that'll be it. Alright, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the weather's weird. Are we all set? Thank you. Have a good one. The girl's like, is it sprinkling a little bit? Bro, if my girl's with me, my girl would fuck you up when you're talking to me. <laughs> it's a joke. Alright, guys, we're about to head back out to the shop. Got my coffee. And I just touched my screen, so sorry if it's not focusing. Alright guys, so this is the before of the lobby, having the floors done, all the holes and everything patched up. We do have a kitchen area, um, I'll end up like, I think I'm going to end up wrapping it like a white marble. Have another office, one bathroom, my other office, so I'll be editing in here, um, be making some videos as well, the warehouse. So this is the new spot. This is the lobby area. You guys can see the TV, which will be going right there. Um, I'll be setting up a couch right here so this way I can hang out and stuff like that. And then for whenever I have customers, I have an office to deal with them. Then I have a private office so this way I can do like all my editing, maybe some green screen stuff. Not really too sure, but have my table here. I'll end up putting a couch as well and another TV. Also have a kitchen too. But yeah, so this setup is definitely a lot nicer than my old setup. You guys can see all the walls are painted. And then this is the garage area. You guys can see this is the new project that we have going on. It's a Toyota Supra. I'm sure everybody knows what this car is. I set up some lighting. And then I also bought a quick jack. So um, you guys will see me setting this one up in the next video. I'll actually be using it on the Supra. Let me uh, turn on the rest of the lights. This is the only bad part about the lights. But if any of you guys own a detail shop, I would definitely um, invest into these lights. They're actually relatively cheap. I think I got all eight of them for like $160 and they're freaking super bright. So I have some more lighting to go ahead and put up top just so that this way I can go ahead and light everything up here. And then I'm probably gonna add some lighting back here somewhere. But yeah, this is the new spot so this is where you guys will be seeing all of the new videos, all of the new cars that I get, um, that I work on. This is gonna be our first project, you guys. We're gonna be wrapping this one in a Nazotec Midnight Purple. So tomorrow we'll be heading over there to their warehouse. So I'll go ahead and record everything as far as me picking it up. You guys will see the car get fully disassembled and then fully wrapped. And you guys will go ahead and see me delivering it, going over the whole car with my customer. And yeah, but this car's super dope. So as far as the floors, I ended up uh, epoxying them myself. You guys can see the, uh, they're glossed, obviously. So I honestly should have just paid for these to have been done. It was a lot of work. Not only that, but if I paid for them to be done, um, they would have filled in like all of the little crevices where the cement's not really um, met the right way. So, but I got quoted on everything and it was like $5,000. So I ended up, um, I spent $600 on just doing this spot. It's actually pretty big. And then I just cut it off over here so that this way when I detail the cars and get everything ready for wrap, all of the dirt and all of everything else would just be in this area just so that this way when I wrap, everything's nice and clean in this spot. 
So the Super dropped off a couple of days ago. I actually have um, a video from when it did drop off, so I'll go ahead and put it right here for you guys. Yo, you can pull it right here, bro. Shit's sick. First drop off at the new warehouse, you got AT Yoda Supra. They're rare. Yeah. You just had it tuned, huh? No, you know what? It's still on the same tune from the, the previous owner. Oh, really? Yeah. And it makes like what, 600? Uh, it makes 705. Fat ass tire. On like 22, 23 pounds. So besides the Supra, I have a couple of things, like I said, to do in the warehouse. Um, I'm gonna end up putting a TV right here, probably like a 70 inch or so. Um, I'll end up putting my toolboxes and everything over here, just so that this way when I record, everything's nice and clean in this spot. And then we'll end up using the quick jack for a majority of all of the cars. It should make my life a lot easier, especially when it comes to bumpers, versus them being down here, it'll be a lot higher. Should be level to where I'm able to stand up straight, hopefully. But if not, um, my plan later on in the future is to go ahead and get a uh, four, one of the two posts that actually lifts it all the way up. Because I do plan on um, buying a drift car, something that I can go ahead and build for the YouTube channel, just to go ahead and create more content just when I'm not wrapping cars. Alright guys, so now that you guys have seen the new warehouse, you guys have seen the new project that we're going to be doing tomorrow. Um, I've been wanting to go ahead and make a video out of the uh, car that I did a couple weeks ago with a good friend of mine. For those of you guys that do not know who Post Malone is or Big Shot, I'm sure a lot of you guys do, they just released a new music video that goes by the name of Wolves. If you guys look it up and you guys see a chrome Corvette in that video, me and my good friend wrapped that car. I did happen to get a couple of clips while we were doing the car. I just didn't happen to make a full vlog because everything had to be done so quickly. But with that being said, you guys, enjoy the clips I'm going to put here. Um, please smash that like button for support and I will see you guys in the next one.